Welcome. If you have ever wanted to know how to automate tasks on your network switches and routers, well then you've come to the right place. We've all heard that the future is SDN, the software defined nirvana, where our networks will configure themselves. And in the present day, we have APIs or application programming interfaces that allow us to easily get structured data from our networks. But many of us have networks that are stuck in the past. So today I'll show you how to use the power of Python and NetMiko to create a secure connection to your routers and switches, run commands to gather data, and push configuration to your network devices. I assume you have some basic knowledge of Python data types, such as strings, lists, and dictionaries, as well as loops such as for and while. What we'll cover is how to use the excellent NetMiko library to securely connect to our network devices and automate repetitive tasks. NetMiko is a library created by Kirk Byers that makes it trivial to establish an SSH connection to your network devices and send commands and receive the command output. Here's some of the topics we're going to be covering. How to write code that works in both Python 2 and Python 3. How to make your scripts executable from the command line. How to connect to your device with NetMiko and send commands. How to handle exceptions when your script fails to connect to one of your devices. How to use dictionaries to represent your devices. How to save those dictionaries in plain text using JSON. How to prompt users for passwords without displaying on screen. How to read commands from files and save the output to files. How to parse command output to get just the data we need. How to use that data to create dynamic configuration. And how to send configuration to our network devices. Rather than just write one big script and then run it, I will be developing my scripts in an iterative process, making small changes and then running the code, verifying it works, and then moving on to the next step. This way you'll be introduced to scripting in a simple way. When making changes to your scripts, I recommend doing the same thing. Introduce small changes and test by running your code. This way, if you've made a typo or an error in logic, you know where to look, which is the last place you typed. When writing scripts, I recommend using full commands instead of shortcuts. We all tend to use shortcuts for commands we type often, but when writing a script, we don't need to type the command more than once. And by using the full command, it makes the intention of the script clearer. Do not store passwords in scripts. Besides the fact that scripts are stored in plain text files, if you write 50 scripts and change your password, you'll need to update 50 scripts. I recommend prompting for the password if you will be manually running the scripts. If you're going to use a task scheduler, such as cron, to run your scripts, then you'll need to read the password from a file or from another source. When running scripts in your production environment, I suggest sending a command to write a message into the system log, perhaps including a change number, stating that the script is starting, and writing another message into the log when the script completes. This way you add documentation directly into the system logs of the target device that show when your script was executed. I hope you find this useful. I plan to expand on this series in the future, so please use comment section below to let me know if there's some topic or specific task that you would like me to cover. Happy scripting!